So like for social media, you know, engagement, mm -hmm. that's like a big thing as far as, you know, driving you, putting you in the algorithm. Mm -hmm. So just to, from a just social media landscape, talk about engagement. Like where did that even come from? How is that game rigged? How the whole engagement play? And then how does your platform relate to that when it comes to engagement? So, so typically, so social media was really based on following. Right, followers. When you think of MySpace, you think of Facebook or friends, you know, stuff like that. And that was when we were in a time where social media was so much more personal. And I think we're forgetting that this is a young person's game. And so I was laughing the other day. I was like, honestly, I was talking about, we were talking about Freaknik and how, like, for the generation of people that got on Facebook in 2004, Facebook turns 20 this year, right? So, um, when people got on Facebook in 2004, it was probably the first place where you could digitally save your photos. So for anybody that's on Facebook from 2009 to 2010, it's basically a photo album for you now. It's like where your, where your old ex-girlfriends are, all the stuff you did in college, all that kind of stuff is there. And it wasn't so much about engagement. As we moved into the, as video entered into social media, it's views, right? It's, and those views scale your following. But what happens with advertising is that now that you add video to social media, and again, the, I'm saying the quiet part out loud, is just simply think of this. Every single person that's on social media that can put video on their page, you are a television network. So for that very reason, however you measure or monetize advertising with television, you can mon monitor and measure advertising on social media. So if you have 17 or 18 million followers on social media right now, you have the monetary equivalent of Sunday Night Football on NBC. Mm. You have that visibility. If you got 100 million followers, right, you have, the, you have the advertising equivalent of the Super Bowl, right? So Facebook knows that, and the advertisers know that. And so if there, was no, if, there, if there was no limit on engagement, then they would bypass these companies and come directly to people to say, hey, while you're doing this thing you're doing on your page, whatever it is, and 100 million people can see you, or 17 million people will do that, hold this can for us and say, hey, by the way, Go buy this. And that's advertising to 17 million people. And the difference is these programs come on one time a week, once a year, right? But imagine being able to reach 17 million people 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Mm -hmm. That's the quiet part out loud that I don't understand people like are putting that portion together. It's like we're all we're all moving. Social media is television now. We are our behaviors change. So with fan base, um, I want to say following is dead. Engagement is the new is the new king of the the hill right it's the people want to be seen and so i would i would i would much rather have a million people see my video and have ten thousand followers than have a million followers and have ten thousand people see my video which is happening now which more people are like yo i got 15 million followers and every time i post a video i get eighty six thousand views i want to flip it you know what i'm saying i want people to have 1.5 million 1.5 million views and have eighty six thousand followers because I'm not showing, we don't show people content based on who follows you. We show content based on the things that you like plus who follows you. So your following is already guaranteed. But isn't, isn't that already how social media works? No. It's based mm -hmm. off, of, off of what they think you would interact with? But it, no, but it's, it, it is. It's based off, it's based off um, the like, algorithm, it, yeah, what I, the algorithm thinks that you're going to interact with. Absolutely. But again, it's still limited. Like just by default, anybody watching this program right now, right? Anybody watching this program right now, Go to your page, and when you look at, tap on somebody's profile on Instagram and say in notifications when you want to see lives and see what it'll say. It'll say, do you want to get notified some of the time, all of the time, or never? It's already set to some. So that means every time somebody you follow goes live, they're not notifying everybody that goes live. By default, they're suppressing your content by default. Yeah. Because again, they have to limit your visibility. These platforms are in competition with users. They can't let... You can you can go to look at anybody's you can go look at anybody's reels videos. Go look at somebody who you follows following versus the amount of people that see their content. Now, granted, everybody's not on social media twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. But still, over the course of a month, if I have one point five million followers and people are tapping in, even if I have you know I get seven hundred fifty thousand views or whatever based off that, but you're not seeing that. You're seeing people like Cardi B with a hundred plus million followers get two million, six million views. So you already know. The people that want to see her content aren't seeing her content because that's, that, 
that's her. Imagine being able to reach 100 million people saying, go buy my album, go buy my song. Like, that's, see, that's the future. The problem is the albatross of advertising that TikTok and Instagram are tied into, they just can't turn off the advertising switch and go to the monetization switch because 95% of the income that is made on, on Facebook comes from advertising. TikTok, enormous amount of money that TikTok makes is from advertising, so they're still going to have to play that game, right? There is no game when it's like, okay, we work off a rev share model. You have, you have a following, you monetize a certain percentage of those subscribers, we get a percentage of that revenue. Now take that and multiply that times not 100 million people, but 500 million people or a billion people, and then now you're saying, oh, okay, you got a trillion dollar company. So in terms of importance and metrics, you said that engagement, probably number one on fan base, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think en engagement is, is definitely, what, it's, what, it's what users want. I want to free that because yeah. that's what people want to experience. Because I want, like, on, on Instagram, there's impression, and even on YouTube to a certain extent, there's, there's impressions, there's reach. Mm -hmm. How do those metrics go inside, how do they work inside a fan base, right? Are those equally as important? Or is it just, it's engagement, it's views, it's... it's so impressions, so, when you're, so again, when you're talking about impressions, that's another way that you actually um, calculate, like, um, CPM and, like, the cost of it in advertising. All right. those things are done. See, all those metrics are based off how you advertise. Mm -hmm. If advertising is not the language that you're speaking, then you're not even... Th we're going to... We're going we're gonna to monitor and see all of that data. So, because I would never say never for advertising. Mm -hmm. Even, I, I'll say this right now, I would never say that fan base is never going to be a platform that, that has advertising. If we do, I'm going to find it in a way that doesn't interrupt the user experience. That's all I care about. I don't want to interrupt someone being, I, I, again, I get tagged in 10 posts a day of some creator saying, man, I'm about to leave because I post all this content and nothing ever gets seen. This, and this is before they even got to the fact that their content that people's content has value. This is before they even made a dollar. You got people wanting to quit social media just because they're not getting enough views. Forget about, I gotta take, now I gotta take these views to get to the money. I'm saying skip that whole little cat and mouse game and just go, now, now this, is the, this is the question that I ask when we onboard creators. We have creators come to the platform, they have large followings, and I said, okay, I gotta ask you, I said, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you wanna be rich, do you wanna be famous, or do you wanna be both, right? If you want to be famous, stay over on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be rich, then start charging for your content the moment that you create it. Like, create an exclusive paywall, don't. If you want to be both, fan is probably where you want to be. Because there's no, there's no limit to the amount of, of, of reach you're going to be able to have, and there's no limit to the amount of monetization that you're going to be able to make. How many users do you have right now? 595,000. So how many do you, users do you need to have like unicorn status? It, it depends on the speed. So if I, if I went from five, so, so I'll, give, I'll give you a prime example. When in, in the pandemic, and it, it's, still, it's still a rare thing, but when Clubhouse in about four or five months, they went from 5,000 users to a million users in like five or six months, they, that's when they went out and raised 100 million at a billion dollar valuation. Because they got to a million users in like five or six months. So that velocity, creating that, you know, and then it's also what people are actually, then here's another thing, it's also what, what the market is willing to pay, right? So it's also what institutional investors are willing to pay. If there's FOMO that happens, right, and again, it's beat them until it's join them. So when, so when institutional investors get FOMO, like, okay, this, this train has left the station, we better get on board before we get left behind, then they set your valuation. So there's no difference between there's no difference between fan base and clubhouse that was founded with institutional capital. There's a company that says, we're giving you money, that we're giving you $100 million to say that your company's worth a billion dollars. Then they went on to raise another $200 million at a $4 billion valuation. That is incredible to me. And still, they still have not figured out how to monetize over there. So again, I'm thinking like, okay, cool. So it's, 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 it's velocity in which you get there. So again, our goal is to get to a million users by the end of 2024. We could get there faster. We get, maybe we get to two, three million users. That changes because now, just by, just by numbers alone, there's a monetary value that if we wanted to go the advertising route, there's a value that fan base has just based off the users.